The quantum computer is something you probably have heard on scouring the internet instead of doing your work. It always comes with those big flashy innovative next big thing and other fancy words to make you feel excited. Now I am going to tell you why it isn't gonna be the next amazing thing anytime soon. A classical computer on a smallest level is made of switches. These switches are either on the on or off state, indicating whether the current is passing through them. Put enough of these switches or transistors and you get the modern computer of the 21st century. The problem with this system occurs when you want powerful computers. In order to achieve this, we need to cram more and more of these transistors in a small space. For example, the processor that you are using to watch this video, either on a phone or a computer, is probably having more than a billion of these transistors crammed up in several centimeters of area. This problem was overcome by shrinking the transistors. But this too comes with its own problem. You can string something only to an extent before it stops working and we are nearing the limit to transistors. Hence we are looking for new technologies, enter quantum computing. In quantum computing there are no transistors, instead there are individual atoms manipulated to do calculation. These atoms called qubits form the same principle of representing everything on the on off basis. When the qubit orientation is in up state it is taken as on and when its orientation is in down it is taken as off. The current challenge in quantum computers is that keeping these atoms in a particular direction is a nightmare as these atoms change their orientation on the slightest of energy to get. Hence the whole processor must be cooled down in the negative degrees using liquid nitrogen. Another challenge is that they have a lot of errors in calculation due to a property of quantum superposition. I won't be explaining as it might get too complicated real fast, but a link to some articles you can read. These are just challenges that we might have a chance of overcoming in the future. Though the next quantum computer can predict weather and human diseases at an instant, your average Joe doesn't need a super powered quantum computer to run a strap check. The real problem with quantum computers is that they are not as powerful as you might think on running normal computing. Classical computers execute code on one by one basis, but quantum computers are really efficient in doing all at once and might be even slower on executing code on one by one basis. Hence running quantum computer to do normal work is like using a Lamborghini to take the job of a pickup truck. It can do it, but it isn't what it's made for. Another thing you heard of is quantum computers cracking private data and how hackers might use them to steal all our data. But the reality is far off from that. As governments and companies have developed post-quantum cryptography algorithms that can use the same quantum technology to encrypt data from other quantum companies and hackers from spoofing data. I mean if everyone is getting quantum computers, it becomes the norm and no one can be having the advantages or in other words And with everyone super <laughs> No one will be. In short, quantum computers might be amazing at doing parallel processing but they might not be good at watching this video or render your game at 4K. But all this can change in our future. Nobody thought that the first computer would struggle doing even basic math would change our lifestyles this much. Just like that, it's just too soon to know anything for certain without looking like an idiot in 10 years of time.